All right, what's going on, guys? We're recording this really quickly. This is part of Rafael's toolbox. And today we're going to be talking about extension lock. What is it? How can you use it? We'll go through here with me is my good friend and business partner, Eva. And Eva is going to be basically just letting us use her account to be able to show you guys a couple of things. I'll pause in between when it's loading so you guys don't have to wait that long. But basically, a lot of times we forget to audit our Facebook, especially when you have been using it for years. When I started auditing mine, this is just one of many extensions that I'm talking about. Uh, it's in a Chrome. It's, uh, there's a free version. There's a paid version. Paid version, I believe it's like $20 one-time fee. The log version on here, basically, if you go into Chrome extension, you can check it out. There's videos, there's training in there, how to use it. But what I'm going to do is I want to show you because Eva just downloaded this. And she was able to notice a couple of things. So a lot of times, uh, Facebook, when you guys have it all set up and ready to go, you're using Facebook every single day, you're liking pages, you're following groups. But inside, if you, let's say if you have 5,000 friends or if you have 1,000 friends, you have a news feed. So inside your news feed, every single time something comes up, you're going to be basically getting things posted on there. But Facebook physically, well, not physically, but they choose what gets posted. Algorithm kicks in. So the cleaner your page is, the better it helps you be using your Facebook so you can actually leverage it, especially if you're using your Facebook personal page for business. So first thing you're going to do is basically go into Chrome extensions. So the web store for Chrome extensions. When you go there, you're going to look for lock okay again i am not associated with this i just found that friend of mine showed it to me i've been using it for now for a couple of years it's been working good obviously do your own research uh, there are many different ones that you can use but this particular one you're going to uh, download it it's going to show up in here uh, as a chrome extension right on the side but at the same time if it's not showing up this little puzzle if you click on it you got to find it on the list and make sure it's pinned so you got to pin it right onto, uh, click this little button, pin it up here. Once you do that, then it's going to be uploaded. You have it here. Then at that time, you can use, you're going to end up in the page right here. And you can use this as a premium one or a free version. There's limitation of certain things that you can do and cannot do. So obviously, there's over 800,000 users. So it's been used, rated. I've done my own research. But again, for you guys, make sure you guys do your own research. There are many other things you can leverage, okay? But watch this right here. So when you go in here, the few things that I use it for, and we're going to use this today, is you can actually check your friends' requests. So whatever are incoming, so the people that are incoming, it will tell you exactly who it is, where they're coming from, what their name is, female, male, like all of that is sorted for you. So as you can see right here, okay, Right now, we have only 27 people that requested friend, send out friend request to, to Eva right now. You can go in here, you can click, select more people, and it will show it up. One thing I like about this is because sometimes, like, I have hundreds of people that are just sending me friend requests, and I'm just, I don't have time to clean it all up. I have my assistant doing some of that stuff, but it's just a good tool to let know, oh, when did they actually send you friend request? There are sections inside your Facebook settings that you can see, but here, everything's in one area. And in here, obviously, when you go through the training, you'll be able to see where you can actually click one button and accept them all. I don't suggest, I actually message people to find out where they connected, what, you know, what do they want from me in a way, or what do they found out. Second one is the outgoing friend request. So this is the ones that you sent out. Well, you sent out a year ago, two years ago, I believe it's still up to a thousand people can be sitting in this list, but it's a good area to obviously go in and um, clean up your area, clean up your Facebook, make sure that, you know, everything that you're doing, you know, what's happening in your Facebook group. Obviously it tells you your account may be locked temporarily, check your by Facebook. There's a thing called Facebook jail. I have never been in Facebook jail by using this and I use it only about once every two weeks or so I do an audit. Uh, but at the beginning, it took me a bit to clean everything up. So as you can say right here, all the friends that were sent out. So obviously there's more than that. There's 30 of them here that you can go in here. Another one, the good one that I have, and I believe this one is only in paid version, is when you click on friends remover. That one, I use this tool about once a month 
or every two weeks, even sometimes it all depends how much my Facebook personal is getting used. There's a lot of pages that are deleted, deactivated, blocked, and they're sitting there. So if you have 5,000 friends and you can't add friends, they're wasting space for you or they're just wasting area of people that you maybe want to message or use it. Especially again, if you're using it for business, a lot of us are using you know, DMs uh, to contact people, to connect with people, things like that. So in here, as this is loading, you can see that there is only, how come it's only loading 460 friends? That's the question. Eva, do you have more than? Uh, no, no, it's 460 times 10, uh, 46 times 10, right? 46 times, okay, so yeah. So, but anyways, but as you can tell right here, obviously you do an audit, but right here, there's a lot of people, okay? that have been deactivated. So right now, Eva is maxed out. I think she's got 5,000 friends, okay? And in here, obviously, once you get to this area, it tells you if they're active, you know, and then it goes into your female, male, how many mutual friends you have. But once you go into here and you see that our people are deactivated or maybe blocked, you can actually remove them by clicking on the right-hand side. There's a little button right here. Okay, we're just going to scroll to the top. I was got a lot of people. First time I had like, I had like over 100 people, maybe even more. But let's say, so Eva, I know there's one person you don't want to delete, but let's just say, yeah, give you guys an, the first 10. The first 10 is fine. So the first 10 is fine. Perfect. So let's just, uh, as an example, so I'm going to click on the people right here on the right hand side that are deactivated, don't know, and deleted account, whatever the reason is, those accounts are no longer active. Okay. Uh, so, or people may be blocking you uh, again, exactly how it uses. So let's just use a couple of those here. So once you select a bunch, you can click this little button that says bye-bye. Okay, so when you click on it, are you sure you want to remove eight friends? Yes. So Eva, we're good to go? Yep. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to press on friend. And now what it's doing, it's the people that are active, it's removing them. So it's automatically going to your Facebook page and removing it. I personally think it's an awesome tool to use to make sure that you know what's happening on your Facebook so for any of you guys that are using this, again, you can get this extension and it's awesome to use and not that way your pace, Facebook is going to be cleaner, okay? Uh, this here too, uh, again, follow the rules. There's some training here. You can actually go into the premium account. They have videos you can follow, do your own stuff that you can research. I'm just giving you a quick overview. Another one. So again, see right here, boom, all those guys are gone. And now, you know, Eva is going to do the rest of them later too, but you want to make sure that those people are not on your account Obviously, they're not active, blocked, or deactivated. Uh, so that way, you can have more space to add more people. Another one, the good one is, is the group scanner. Group scanner is going to tell you basically every single person. Okay. I thought you were, you have the... No, I have it. Just click. Let's search. Search. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. It's that one. So this one here is going to load every single Facebook group that you're following or you joined. Clean it up. Because if someone is posting the notifications, you know, all those stuff, you want to have as clean as possible. So the groups that you don't really want to be part of, it's in one area and you can use it. Again, there is an option inside Facebook settings area that you can see this. This is just gives you an ability to do everything all in one area and it's nice and clean. So once this loads, we'll come back to you guys really quickly and keep going. All right, guys, so we just all it all loaded here again. This is for the paid version. I think this one you have to do again. Last time when I was doing this recording, it was $20 one-time fee uh, and you get lifetime access. So as you can tell right here is there's a whole bunch of people basically here. So sh you can be an admin on the page. Uh, if you click on this one right here on the right-hand side and select it, um, that it's going to show up. And now let's say I want to put 100 per row. Now you're gonna come in here. So out of 12, so if you have 100 out of 12, that means it's loading right now. Okay, so that means you're following, you, you joined 1200. 1200. So Eva right now is a part of 1200 Facebook groups. That's insane. <laughs> so Eva has got to do some auditing, but it's, it's like the same thing. So it tells you, okay, if you're an admin of a page, yes, at the beginning, I believe, it tells you when you joined the group. So four years ago, three years ago, or it tells you last time you visited that, that page. So if I want to sort it out. So last time I visited this page. So here we go. There's ones I saw two years ago. Okay. There's another one that uh, Eva visited four years ago. So if you had your Facebook since 2007 or wherever it came out, you have a lot of different things. 
when you click on here, I believe when you click on right here, last visited, it will actually sort it by date. So wherever you click on here, it tells you when was the last time. So an hour ago, you visited those places. When I click on it again, it will pop up the places that you visited 10 months ago lately. So there's a way to sort through this too. And it tells you if you're a member or if you are uh, an admin on those pages. So biggest thing too is clean this up. Eva's got a lot of work to do. 1,200 pages is a lot of things. But glance at when you last visited. Maybe let's say if you're using it for a business and you forgot about one of those Facebook groups, it's like, oh, this is a good area for me to visit or to connect with people. So that's another area you can do. And same thing by clicking on the actual thing, you can actually open the page. You actually go into that page. So you, you have one area where you can actually click, double check it. And then if you want to, re let's say, leave, catch uh, Eva. Is there one place, uh, if you have one, that maybe we can leave? Maybe do you see anything? Oh, that the, I saw the ACN family. ACN family. Okay, so let's go. So let's just. No, what's up? Just pick, no. pick, pick, pick one that you're part of. So let's. Uh, sorry, it's, we're using there. So this one. Uh, no. Select no. select one that is on the right here. So we'll do. Like, give me one that is like six years old or something like an older. One. Okay, so so. Um, I'm gonna have to be scrolling stuff like that too. There you go. ACN family, that one good. I can leave that one. By the way, that was ladder up. Years. This Hold one, on. the ladder let's, up. Let's let's just <laughs> let's revisit that. this. Eva, you visited this one ten years ago. Ten years ago. Ten years ago. Ten years ago. Because I didn't even know they were there. Yeah, but see, <laughs> it, that's the beauty about this. The software is clean it up. So when I click on it, so can I leave the happy mask thing as well? Add the ladder up. The ladder, okay, up. ladder up. Okay. Anyways, and you can select a whole bunch of them. So once you select a few, you go back to the top and same thing with one click. Okay. You can just click leave again. Don't do maybe alternate. So don't do it. Follow the rules that they show you. But hey, yes, delete them. And what's going to happen is it's actually automatically going in and removing you from the group. So if you have a lot like Eva, I would maybe. Okay. There you go. So now. They've been removed. You unjoined the groups in a way. So that way it's easier for you. So now you're only down to 1,264, <laughs> whatever you have in there. But a good area, because now what happens is each time someone posts in a group, maybe some of those groups, they're not active anymore. Uh, maybe those some of those groups uh, you never visited or you joined accidentally. Or you, So now once you do the full cleanup of this, each time it goes through your notifications or each time someone posts something, you're actually going to get to see it because Facebook will not bombard you with notifications. And that's why sometimes people get shadow banned on their Facebook or inside Facebook group because you're following too many groups. Okay. So that's another area. Second one is pages scanner. So this particular one is for scanning any page that you liked. Okay. So we'll come back to this in one second. Okay. So while we're waiting for this, this might take a little bit for you guys to load right now. This one is a 2%, but the beauty about technology is we can just pause it and come back when it loads. But again, just going back to this right now, what we're loading is pages scanner. So basically any page that you press that like button on, uh, it's going to load up and we'll take a look at it in a second. And I think Eva has lots. All right, so we tried for a little bit. It really took uh, took a bit to uh, actually upload this and then came up in an error because uh, we have internet uh, issues in a second, but it will take a little bit too long. But basically what you're going to have is you're going to have pages that you liked. And actually, Eva looked at it. I think she had how many pages did you have? You have to unmute yourself. Yeah, how much? You had like a thousand or something, or it was crazy, a thousand pages that you liked. And that's plugging up your newsfeed. That's plugging up your algorithm. That's plugging up a lot. So you can start cleaning it up. Okay. Anyways, in here as well, you're going to see that there's tutorials. So if you click on tutorials, it's going to take you over and there's YouTube videos and stuff that you can actually watch. It will explain to you exactly how it works, what it does and everything else on there too. So while that's loading, uh, obviously you have an option of the premium section. Um, you know, she's already a premium user. You can have one account, two accounts. That's what they have right here. You can just click on it, attach your uh, Facebook, and then all of the training. I hit they have it here. They call it a multi tool for Facebook. Um, lock basically, uh, they that's just part of it. And then you can watch those videos here. So, again, play around with this, clean up your Facebook. Really, really important, especially if you're using it for business, if you're using it all the time. It's a good 
tool to have. And then obviously there's other things that, you know, you can do message downloaders. So you can actually download all the message. There's a interaction scanner. So you can actually see how many, um, people and how, much, how many messages you send in between each other in the Facebook, in the group chats or in the regular chats. But I love those features. They work really well. And again, like I told you guys, just go to Chrome extension. Okay, go, go inside the web, Chrome web store, download lock, set it up, set it up in here so it's on your Chrome and then use at least once a month. So that way it's cleaning up. It's going to take you probably an hour or two maybe to clean it all up. Eva, it's going to probably take you like four hours because she has so much information that she has to go through. But once she cleans it up and gets rid of those Facebook groups, once she cleans it up and gets rid of all the pages that she liked, her Facebook is going to work differently. Okay. It gives you all that information because you have the ability to actually go through all of that and set it up and have it ready. So hopefully this helps you. This is one of many. I'm actually building out a big a massive uh, toolbox, literally. Um, that's where you're probably going to find this information. But as you can see right here, this tells you exactly how many messages and interaction you had with each person. Okay. So if I go click on here, I think should alternate. It tells you exactly. Yours doesn't have too many. You have 395. Wow. So yeah. So you have 4,000, I think, people that you spoke to on here from the looks of it. But once you change it, you can change 395 times 10. So... 3,900 people. 30, yeah, that's what I said, about 4,000 people here. Yeah. But once you change it to 100, all of this is going to load. But what it does is, uh, um, again, we're, we're overloading this computer right now. But one, one of the things that you want to make sure that is when you're using this, it's going to give you all that information and you're ready to go. So hopefully this helps you guys. Hopefully you guys had it all set up, ready to go. And then that way I can stop sharing here. Uh, Stop sharing by participants, okay? And then, then when you guys go through here, so my name is Rafael. Thank you, Eva, for helping me out using your account. You got a lot of cleaning up to do. And if you guys need more information, again, you got to go rafaelpro.com or you can go check out the Chrome extension that is there. And we'll see you guys in the next video.